Today what we're working with is a Honda CB350 cylinder head. As you can see we've just broken the head down. A lot of the gasket material is actually still on this piece. Uh, this will have to be scraped off eventually with a uh, flat blade razor. Um, the vapor blasting and vapor honing process will not remove this gasket material when it is this thick and this hard. Uh, but we just want to show you how quick and easy a restoration project like this would be. Um, if you've ever used traditional hand methods or uh, dry blasting, um, you know how time consuming this can be and how uh, you have to mask areas like valve guides, sealing surfaces, and valve seats. With this process, none of those areas have to be masked. Um, we are not going to damage these materials and the surfaces. Uh, we're gently flowing across the surface, scrubbing away debris, contaminant, uh, 30 years old uh, debris, corrosion, and dirt dobber nests um, that you can actually see in some of the finned areas in there. Uh, we've actually pulled some of those out and I'm sure you've seen a piece before that has similar uh, looking nature as this piece. But again, this is just 30 years of abuse. Um, this engine was never torn down by the looks of gaskets, seals, and such. Uh, but we're going to give this piece a, uh, a quick one over in the new VH800P machine, uh, new for us in 2016. We just want to show you how quick and easy this is and how affordable this can be for your home shop or your business, whether it's small, medium, or large. Um, these machines are incredible, uh, incredible value for, uh, uh, for the results and the finishes that you're going to achieve. Uh, literally uh, award-winning finishes on every part and piece, and it's something that's repeatable. So let's uh, put this part in the machine and show you how easy this can be. Stay tuned.
Okay, back after blasting here. We have about 10 to 15 minutes tops. What we want to do is just clean up this area here for you and show you the difference between before and after. And it's really hard to see how smooth and, and just really bright and shiny this part is. There's before, and there's after. It's a few other points I want to make too, not just how quick and easy this is, but how clean it is. Look in the threads here. Look how clean the threads are. You can still see a little bit of uh, carbon or oil right here that we need to clean out of some of those threads, but overall, how quick and easy. Of course, the seats, again, we just did a really quick clean. You didn't do a very thorough, but you can still see some carbon here that we'll have to work on. Um, but look at that cylinder port versus that one. And that's what we be began with there. But another point I want to make too, not just the difference between the surfaces and the finishes, but look at these studs. These exhaust studs here. Look how grimy and dirty this was before. And now look at the after. No rust preventative in the water. Look how clean those threads are. No rust preventative. No WD-40. We just rinsed this part off, air dried it, and uh, that's what you're left with right there. You probably would want to put some WD-40 on that part uh, to keep it from oxidizing from the humidity in the air uh, before you do your reassembly. But I mean, look at the finishes, the cleanliness, the results that you're going to get. Think how enjoyable this would be if you had this in your your home shop or your your workshop where you're doing services for people whether you're building engines this is the level of detail that you can get again not a lot of time spent on this piece we just wanted to give you a quick rundown of cleaning a cylinder head we didn't do this extensively we will be cleaning this up um, fully probably take anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes total uh, to do a part like this and what you're going to see, and you probably could see it in the video, some of the areas here in the cylinder with some really heavy caked on carbon and potentially some oil, especially areas like this right here on the cylinder head with really thick oil and road grime, you may have to scrape those areas just a little bit lightly with a flat blade screwdriver that's what I would uh, prefer. That's what I always tell people to do. Same as gasket. You know, scrape that with a, a flat blade razor, and uh, then you can you can vapor hawn and clean those parts up. But that's actually what we had to do over here in some of these areas. We had some really caked on grime, and uh, we just gently went in there, scraped it with a uh, a flat edge and then you can get in there and really clean those surfaces. More than likely this is not going to be a one step process ever or a one and done. You may have to bring this piece out once or twice and uh, just gently hit some areas that are very stubborn and then go back into the cabinet for a final touch up. But as you can see just the consistency of the finish after and before. If you want more information on how we do this, what kind of machine we did this in, uh, what it would take for you to get set up, please shoot us an email, give us a phone call. We'll be glad to walk you through the entire process and um, yeah, we'll be glad to help you out. So stay tuned for more information and uh, we'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>